So about a year ago, uh, Judith and the other herpetology keepers noticed that Smog was not using his right front foot normally, that occasionally he was flipping it underneath and walking on the top of his toes. Um, so that started the last year and a half of our diagnostic investigation into what was going on with him. Yeah, so I have to admit I was a bit surprised, so I got the call from Dr. Lauren one day and she says, I've got a proposition for you. Uh, why don't you come over and take a look at our Komodo dragon? And I have to admit I was a bit surprised in the beginning. You know, I certainly have never worked with a Komodo dragon in the past. Basically what, what's happened is he, he's not able to pick up his foot. Actually not atypical for something that we see in able-bodied humans, where they're not able to pick up their foot. Uh, we call that a foot drop in the layman's terms, uh, or some kind of nerve paralysis. So we said, okay, well let's take some of the human corollaries and see if we can make that work for smog. So the concept was is, well, can we make an orthosis or a brace that will actually pick up that foot and be slightly spring-loaded perhaps, to bring that foot up into place so that as smog's picking up his foot to put it down on the ground, that it springs back into place and he can place it flat. We started out from the human perspective, just treating him as if we would any other patient. We cast him similarly, we used the same methods, and then when we put it on, we thought this looks great, it works great, um, we were pretty pleased with ourselves, and then all of a sudden it just flew off within a matter of seconds. And we realized, okay, this is going to be a, little, uh, a bit different for us. And that's why we looked into different materials and different methods. It was pretty exciting to have to think out of the box and start almost from scratch on a project like this. This is what we're trained to do, but in normal practice, too often we get into this thing of just doing the same thing over and over. When this is something new, it's exciting to have to use the principles and the biomechanics that you learned before and apply it to this. So the brace is doing exactly what we want it to do. It's making him walk properly. Um, he's wearing it most of the time now. I do give him a little break, so we don't yet have long periods of time where he's walking without the brace. But I think it's already making a difference because when I do give him a little break and he, and he walks around, you can see his foot kind of go to the side and like it wants to flip over, but then it winds up going the right way. So I think it's already doing some good training that foot to come down the right way again. I love the zoo and everyone I work with and one of the great things about it is that we're right next to the medical center and having medical professionals like uh, Lauren and, and Jared and, and the host of other medical professionals across the street that have helped us, is, it really adds to our ability to keep our animals healthy and uh, we're just very grateful for their help.